Hey guys, it's Man here, back with another video, and today on Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, we're gonna fight the boss of the Water Homeworld. As you can see, the level is called Drain Damage, and I think we're gonna get a nice speech from- yeah. Ah, get over here, you little orange sponge! Cause we're gonna ring you out! Alright, so as you can see, we just got a nice speech from the Water Elemental and from Crunch. And just like last time when we fought the Earth Elemental, we are going to be fighting Crunch as in the form of a Water person. See, there he is right there. Now he's fairly easy, actually. I don't know why I had a lot of trouble beating him as a kid. Oh, never mind. He's not as easy as I thought. Alright, so basically all you gotta do is step on these platforms and just jump over the things, the lasers that he summons on the ground. Alright. So that was one hit, you gotta do that three times. Wait for it, and jump. Alright. Now the next one he actually has a new attack, which is that green thing. Oh, come on! Why do I always jump at the wrong time? Okay, maybe we got a slide jump. There we go. We got a duck under these things. Okay, I think those green things used to be more of a problem to me as a kid, but now it looks like I'm gonna have trouble with the blue things right here. Again. Oh, yes, we got him. All right, now for the final round. Okay, let's see. Let's take our time here. Wait for it. Whoa. All right, so that happens. And I don't know what this is going to be. Oh, we got him. Nice. Oh, there's another round. I thought there was only three. All right, well, we can duck and jump. Now he's going to do the blue thing again. Yes. Yeah. Alright, we got our nice double jump power-up. It'll make things a lot easier for us, alright. Press X to continue. Well, that was pretty intense. I have to say, I feel kind of ashamed of myself for not being able to do that on the first try. Alright, so we're back. And now we get to move on to the next- oh, cutscene. You are making a mockery of me in front of my minions! Not only have you defeated the elemental masks, but you are still collecting those worthless crystals! Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro the fire elemental will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crash on by myself! Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. Alright, so we got two elementals down, we got two more to go. The next one we have to face is the fire elemental. So all these levels are kind of like fiery related. And the first level is the gauntlet, which as you can see we just entered now. We're probably gonna hear from the fire guy. I realize my brethren have had some trouble with you, my little orange friend, but I'm not quite sure why. Huh. Is it getting hot in here? Is it safe to be wearing that fur? It looks flammable! So that, that's the, uh, that's the fire elemental. Alright, now let's load into the gauntlet. Okay, so here we are in the gauntlet, and as you can see, it is one of those medieval-type levels, like we did in the... back in the Earth home. I guess they're saving all the fire levels for later. So it's not that much different. Same enemies. Same setting. Alright, what's this exclamation mark box? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, swinging axes. 
All right, let's see. I think there is a couple things I have to, or one thing I gotta talk to you guys about. Oh, there's the fire. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so uh, I know I've been, oh, I didn't even see that pit. All right, so as I was saying before, before I died here, um, anyways, one of my fans is requ has requested for me to do a Roblox series, and I'm gonna give a shout out to that guy right now. I believe his name is that Ender Matt Gaming. Uh, hopefully, I said that right, but yeah, and it's been taking so long to come out. It's just that it's it's not really working right now. So uh, actually, oh. No, what I'm trying to say is I've been trying to record it on my phone, and I got this cable for Christmas. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working at this moment, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed. And then I'll be doing the Roblox series, so yeah, just be patient for that. It will still come. I will give you a proper shout-out in one of my music disc videos, where I'll put, I'll put your name in the description and stuff. And I think, actually, Test Gamer gave you a shout-out as well. Nope. Ooh, nice. Come on. Alright. Oh. Ah, did we really hit that TNT? Are we supposed to go in here? No. Alright, let's get that extra life. Oh, now we got the double jump. Oh, a bonus. Lovely. Okay. Double jump makes life a lot easier. Ten times easier. Well, crashes life easier. Alright, anyways. Let's get these. No, I don't want to get that one. Seems like once you get them once and you wait. Whoa. Once you get those jumping crates, once you bounce on them once and you wait, and then you bounce on them again, they just break instead of making you uh, do it five times. It's almost as if they have like this timing mechanic. As if in five seconds, the next time you jump on it breaks. Alright, so that was the bonus world. Continue. Checkpoint. So we gotta run away from something? Like the dinosaur in the last one? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Nitro crates. Oh, see what the double jump can do? Whoa, was I just standing on that blade? Uh, anything? Oh, a life. Uh-oh. I might want to get him first before I attempt to get those. And this one too, because that also counts for the gem. Checkpoint, nice. Aku Aku. Oh look, the crystal. Oh, I want the Aku Aku. Oh, we lost anyways. No. I had to do it, guys. I wasn't going to let that crate turn into steel. Wait, is there something up here? No, oh, I didn't even see that. There we go, we got it. We have to jump on there. Oh no, there's crates down there. Nope. I just saw more crates over here. A life. Oh, 
Double jump. No, come on. Now wait for this one. Did we get all the gems? I mean, all the crates? We'll find out shortly. We did. We got our nice, precious gem. And now we can go back to the home world. Alright, so that is pretty much it for uh, this part of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Uh, next time we'll be going in this level. Tsunami. I don't see what that has anything to do with fire, but okay. And also, in my spare time, I will be getting this gem that I missed. That I carelessly missed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.